SFI yesterday announced the uh, funding for seven research centres across the country. These seven centres together, the investment reflects 200 million from the Exchequer, matched with about 100 million from the business community to fund th- seven large research centres. Four of those seven research centres are being led here from UCC. One is co-led between UCC and other partners and the remaining two centres that have been funded, UCC is a significant partner in those centres. So the four centres which are being led here from UCC are very interesting. One of them is the APC led by Professor Fergus Shanahan focusing on the area of food and health and uh, gastrointestinal issues Um, and that's a development of an existing research strength here in UCC. Another is in the photonics area led by uh, Professor Paul Townsend of Tyndall National Institute and again that's a research centre which is very much developing a prior research strength within the university. Another uh, research centre which was funded yesterday is in the area of perinatal health, led by Professor Louise Kenny and Professor Geraldine Boylan. And we're particularly pleased about this area because this is a new growing area of research in UCC and an area which we see thriving and becoming one of our areas of excellence over the coming years. And another research centre was in the Marine Renewable Energy Area led by Professor Alistair Bothick. And this reflects the development of the Beaufort Laboratory in Ringeskiddy in partnership with CIT and the Marine and the Marine uh, National Maritime College. And this will be very much focused on the development of renewable energy. The fifth centre that we're involved in co-leading is Insight, the big data centre, which has uh, principal investigators from all over the country. And the research here in UCC will be led by Professor Barry O'Sullivan in computer science. So, you know, across each of these research centres, we're seeing a very diverse range of research activities. But I think for here in UCC, what we're particularly proud is we're seeing a combination of developing our existing and prior research strengths and growing new areas, which, of course, is extremely important into the future. Central to success in this programme was having excellent partnerships with the enterprise partners. Embedded within the proposals was the role of enterprise partners. And within each proposal, there are a diverse range of companies involved, from small companies through to large multinationals. So the the, uh, involvement of those partners and the relationships which pre-existed the proposals were absolutely central to the success. So over the coming years, what we will see in each of these centres is developing groups of researchers, you know, young researchers, researchers, PhD students, postdoctoral researchers, team leaders, and then the interface with those research teams working with their partners in the enterprise sector, which really will provide a very dynamic research activity into the future. And I think, you know, the engagement between the research teams internally and the companies will allow the companies to explore their research uh, skills in a different and diverse area as well. One of the things which we find is particularly important is that young researchers who work at the interface between the academic and the industry world. They develop a particularly unique set of skills and when they go out and work in the enterprise sector afterwards, the skills that they bring with them are very important in helping those companies to develop their research and development activities into the future. There are two aspects to the basis of the success. The first and the most important one is the achievements of the researchers over the past decade, you know, demonstrating what they have been able to achieve and then bringing that together with their creative ideas for the future is obviously central to success in this proposal. But the other element of it is that the long embedded tradition within UCC of working with the enterprise sector, you know, the commitment that there is within our research teams to working at a very real and engaged level with the enterprise sector has come through very effectively in this programme and I think it's been rewarded extremely well in the programme as it's developed. We're absolutely delighted with these recent announcements and the scope and complexity of these research programmes really will be very exciting over the, over the coming years. We're looking forward to some very exciting outcomes from each of these centres.